Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, March the 18th, 2011. It's year one, it's the first week in Lent, and it's week three of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 51, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 to 22, and Revelation chapter 11, verse 15 to 18. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Psalm 51 Have mercy, tender God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out all my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them, My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight have I done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, and I shall be clean. O wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your help, With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, my tongue shall ring out your goodness. Yahweh, open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a humble, contrite spirit. A humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. The lesson is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, beginning at verse 12. So now, O Israel, what does Yahweh your God require of you? Only to fear Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve Yahweh your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and his decrees that I am commanding you today, for your own well-being. Although heaven and the heaven of heavens belong to Yahweh your God, the earth with all that is in it, yet the Yahweh set his heart in love on your ancestors alone, and chose you, their descendants, after them, out of all the peoples, as it is today. Circumcise then the foreskin of your heart. Do not be stubborn any longer. For Yahweh your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who is not partial and takes no bribe, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and who loves the strangers, providing them food and clothing. You shall also love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall fear Yahweh your God, him alone you shall worship. To him you shall hold fast, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things that your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt seventy persons, and now Yahweh your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the heavens. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. 
we pray for your holy church that all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, and that your name may be glorified by all. We pray for Joe and Tom and Alan and for all of our church leaders, that they may be faithful ministers of word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and who hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace upon the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. For the unemployed, especially James, Bill, Robert, and Brian. For the sick, especially Stephen Michael. For a cure for cancer. For the grief-stricken, especially Joe and Dan. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith. May they be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, especially Howard Lawrence, Jr. Let perpetual light shine upon them. We praise you for St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. For the mercy of God community, uh, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian Brendan, and all the Mercy of God Associates. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were. The seventh trumpet. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, for you have taken your great power and begun your reign. The nations raged, but your wrath has come, and the time for judging the dead, for rewarding the saints, the prophets, and all who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.